Um, so as a hepatologist or um, otherwise known as a liver doctor, um, I work with um, a wide range of patients and um, from patients who have liver disease in which they don't feel any symptoms or have any symptoms at all. And it was picked up because they had blood work done or they had a picture done of their liver and it showed that their liver was damaged. Um, and that's um, a, probably about a third of the patients I see. The other third of the patients that I see um, are people who have significant symptoms related to their liver disease. And so oftentimes that's related um, when people develop cirrhosis of the liver, which is end stage scarring of the liver. And when you have that, you can develop up um, fluid in your belly that's called ascites, so people look like they're nine months pregnant. You can get confusion from liver disease, which is called encephalopathy. They can have bleeding and all these other things that happen. Um, and so those are really, really sick people, um, oftentimes critically ill, oftentimes getting admitted to the hospital, um, dealing um, with those hospitalizations with their families, those kind of things. And then I have the profound privilege to also be certified in um, transplant hepatology, meaning um, I've done additional training to become um, a, an expert in transplant medicine medicine and immune suppressing medications and the medical side of transplant. And so I get to spend a lot of time um, deciding um, as part of a team um, at Northwestern where I work, um, who we can potentially offer life-saving liver transplant to um, and talk about all the medical and ethical and social issues that are related to putting somebody on a transplant list and offering them a liver transplant, whether it's from a deceased donor or a living donor, um, and then walking patients and families through that transplant process. And then on the other side, after they've gotten a transplant, the other third of the patients that I see are post-transplant, so they're liver transplant recipients. And I become sort of their like the primary care doctor for liver transplant recipients, and I get to follow them for the rest of their life. Um, because once you have a liver transplant, you're always gonna be followed by your transplant center. And so I develop really um, awesome long-term relationships with my patients and, and get to follow them long-term and um, manage a lot of their other kind of chronic medical issues that people get as they get older, um, but also manage their immune suppressing medication. And of course, pay attention to make sure that their liver graft um, um, stays healthy that was donated to them. So that's the clinical part of what I do. Because I'm in academic medicine, meaning I work for a large you know, academic medical center like UVA, but at Northwestern in Chicago, um, I spend a lot of my time doing clinical research and a lot of my time doing teaching of medical students, um, residents, fellows, undergraduates, um, and that, um, you know, I spend a, a substantial amount of time doing that, and I do have um, a little bit of time that I, you know, spend doing some administrative things. I think what's the most fun about what I do is the fact that every single day is absolutely different, and no day looks the same from day to day, because it's such a wide range between patient care, teaching, research, um, and then administration as well. <laughs>